So the next test that we're going to do is insulation resistance test. And now, in the in the practical sense of the world, you could do an insulation resistance test on the whole of the board. But what I want, and obviously because as I've said before, as an analogy, this is a driving test and you're doing it manual, not an automatic. So what we're going to do is we're going to test all the circuits. So what we're going to do, so once again, we're going to use our tester here. And we're just going to use, um, going to use, but we're going to use it on 500 volts, which is the test that we're going to do. And we're just going to use these test probes at the moment. So we're going to do our test. So, so what we're going to do is we have to be careful because obviously we are going to produce 500 volts through the test lead. So I'm just going to put the tester here next to it, and I'm going to look at the circuit in a second. We're going to go through to make sure that there's nothing that would cause um, the tester to give us an incorrect result. And on this test board, we're quite lucky. There isn't anything really here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go onto our ring, making sure that all our switches are OK. So what we would do is on our line and our neutral, and we go to anywhere on the neutral bar, but it's good, good habit to do it on the same place, but the neutral bar is all connected. So line to neutral, and we would press the button. And it's saying that we've got this test which is on here. We'll do that again. And the reading I've got here, and it keeps the reading for you, is over a thousand mega ohms. So that's what we'd write there. So over a thousand mega ohms. And then we would duplicate that just by simply going onto the earth bar to make sure we haven't got a short. And once again, we've got over a thousand mega ohms. And then what we would do is we would just do our last test, very similar to doing uh, safe isolation. We would do our earth to neutral. And once again, we've got over a thousand mega ohms. So I don't know if I'll be able to do that with the other camera because of the um, recording and tripod. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to write down in here where it says here on our ring, so over greater than 1,000. Okay, because it's in mega ohms already, so we don't need to write that. And I'll rewrite this test sheet out a little bit clearer later, but this is just, so we've got over 1,000. And when we would do the same for the next circuit, so we work our way along. Um, so with the test meter, I'd go onto my shower circuit Live to neutral, over a thousand, over a thousand, and the last test showing how dexterous I am. We've got over a thousand. So that's with all the situation there, we've got that over a thousand. So I'll go and write that onto my test sheet. Greater than 1,000, greater than 1,000. Now the lighting is going to be slightly different because what we'll do is going to look at the lighting circuits that we've got. And we've got one lighting circuit. So we're having a look to see what we've got in the lighting circuits. But we'll also go through and we make sure we test all the switches. So we go onto the lighting circuit and we go live neutral. And we'll test once again. I should have held it a little longer. Over a thousand. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to flick one of the light switches just to make sure that we're checking the whole of the circuit all the way to the light over a thousand. And if we had a two way lighting circuit or two way lighting circuit on this, then I'd flick the other one and it would just check all the strappers and it would check the whole complete path of the lighting circuit. And we would do that the same for the last circuit, which is here. And then we'd write that down. So live to neutral. Once again, we have over a thousand. Flip the light switch. Over a thousand. And then once again, light switch. Over a thousand. And then we would do same to earth. So we're checking the full circuit. 
and we're making sure that when we go through here that we would do that and we would replicate that and we would flick the switches for all the circuits. So that is quite a simple way of just checking the insulation resistance, but we're doing it for every single one of the circuits. The next tests, um, so this will just link in with the series of tests that we're doing. So let me just write that down on those circuits. And then what we do is insulation resistance test voltage. So we've put in here that we're using a 500 volts. So it's got 500 volts above. So we just put 500. 